Yo, what is going on ladies and gentlemen, Revan here and welcome to another 2 minute tutorial. In this video you will learn these two types of gradient typography in Adobe Illustrator. So making a gradient like this is a bit trickier than you might think. So without further ado, let's get started. So we got some text over here, we put in the word gradient, I use the font Leto and the first step that you're going to take is you're going to go to the swatches panel and you're going to delete the color. So you're going to go to here, the none and voila the text is gone don't worry it's still there the next step you're going to do is you're going to go to appearance if you don't have the appearance block over here you will go to window and you can click on appearance and it will pop up so you're going to click on the bottom of it add new fill as you can see there's like a dark grayish color appearing this is okay next step you're going to go to the gradient and that's over here if you don't have that window go to window click on gradient and it will pop up it's quite simple you just click over here and there is a gradient tool right in front of it so you can just change the colors what you want so let's say we're gonna make that one um let's say to a i don't know a purple one green one let's make it a green one we're gonna do the right side let's make it a yellowish one and you can even add a color in the middle if you want or multiple colors so we're just gonna click in the middle over here put the location to 50 percent so it's exactly in the middle double click on it and we're gonna make it a red one as you can see now you got green red yellow so that's the gradient we're gonna work with from now on. So you could also you could you could change it from from linear to radial. So linear means from left to right, and radial means from the inside out. So the green is in the middle, as you can see. Uh, then the red, then the yellow. So you could also just change it the angle. So let's say to a ninety degrees angle. So it goes from top to bottom instead of left to right. And yeah, that's pretty much all you need to know. So that's the first one. Now let's go to the second one. So we're gonna move that one to the top. We're gonna hold option to duplicate it and put it right on the there. And to make the gradient from the fill to the stroke, you just select it, hold shift and press X. And as you can see, it's on the outside. So increase the stroke to let's say 10. Here you go. And on both ones, it is completely editable. So editable. Now that one is on, actually underneath it and for this one counts the same so you can just change the text to uh, I don't know some text and the gradient will edit with it I hope you learned something today if you have any questions just pop them in the comment section below and I will see you in the next video thanks for watching cheers hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did be sure to leave a like if not refresh it give it another chance Got questions? Just ask them in the comment section below and I will see you in the next video.